if you love African prints but you're too scared to wear it every day because it looks like it's too much, this video is for you because I'm going to be sharing with you how you can incorporate your African print outfits, skirt, dresses, shirts into your everyday clothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Caroline for Kalicious Loves. On here we talk about fashion and style, occasionally food, but you can check out food, DIY, fashion and style on my blog at kaliciouslabs.com. Happy New Month. It's the month of May. For me, that's the African month because African Day is on the 25th of May. And throughout this month, I am going to be sharing with you some fashion and styling inspiration based on African print, okay? African print, Ankara, African works, Hollandaise works do not come from Africa, but we kind of own it because we know how to dress it best. So African print, Ankara print, wax print, originates from Indonesia, but then moved to Holland, where you could say it originated from. So sometimes you will see African print on the material, you say Hollandaise wax. Yes, that's where it originates from. But we kind of took the print and made it our own, and we Africans just rock it the best. So, I will be sharing with you some tips on how you can incorporate your African print outfits in your everyday dressing, how maybe you can tie an African wrapper, how you can style your African wrapper on your head, and, you know, just giving you some tips, you know, in terms of fashion and style. So, stay tuned throughout this month of May. And today... I will be sharing with you how you can incorporate your African print outfits in your everyday dressing, okay? For example, I am wearing this African print shirt, which was supposed to be my husband's, but I guess he doesn't want it anymore. I can wear this to the office, but I have to do it so stylishly that it looks good, okay? I could have African print pants and African print top. Sometimes people find it a bit intimidating when you wear all those prints together at the same time. Okay, so we're going to take it back a little bit. Okay, what about you wear your African print trousers and wear them with a normal shirt, like a modern shirt? Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So first, I am going to be showing you is uh, this dress. This dress that I've had made in Malawi, right? I'll show you a picture somewhere here of how it looks when I'm wearing it, right? And yeah, it's 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 beautiful, it's cute for me to wear it every day. But I want to, you know, incorporate some, you know, some high street pieces. And the first one that I'm going to be styling this with is a trench coat, okay? Your classic trench coat, this comes in khaki. I got this trench coat from Whistles. And imagine your British weather. Your, your British weather will not let you just enjoy African print outfit. It will not, okay? And uh, this is, adding a trench coat to this is a perfect way to, you know, stylishly wear your African print outfit. And the way you can do it is by making sure that the trench coat does not necessarily cover the whole dress. You turn it on your waist, but then pull it back a little so that you can show off your print. I think that's a very nice way of incorporating African print in your daily, daily outfits. It does not necessarily come as if you're wearing like traditional wear because you've got the trench coat and you've got the print coming through. And I think it's very nice. Another way you can style this. As you can see, African prints are very limiting sometimes when it comes to styles. So for example, you know, you go to the tailor, you know, tailor, I want my dress done this way, the way Beyonce did her chest, this, this, this and that. Oh, fine and good. You go to a wedding, have a good time. Then you realize, oh my God, I cannot really wear this dress anywhere else because maybe it shows too much boobage like this dress does. And you know what you can do? You can wear a turtleneck underneath just like I did. 
So in this picture, I've got this turtleneck underneath, uh, on top or uh, underneath this dress, right? And tell me, who would say Caroline go back in the kitchen and do some of this? No one. Problem solved. That way, I can wear this dress to the party. I give it away to the office because I can hide my boob badge or put it on display. As simple as that. And I feel like most of us who are really like into African prints, we like to explore, like experiment with styles. They can be very limiting. So this is a good way to make the most of your African outfit. Okay. Another way is by wearing um, sort of like if you've got African prints shirts, by wearing them in a formal setting. So I've got this shirt that's the same color as the dress I've shown you. And the way you can wear this shirt is by wearing it to the office. Um, you can pair it with black or green pants or even red pants and wear it as a suit. You can wear it as a suit, adding a jacket on top or just the shirt on its own with pants. And I don't think there's an office that would say, no, Caroline, you can't wear this here. I don't think there is. And I know most uh, workplaces have like a dress down Friday. No, this is not something you'd be dressing down on a Friday. No, this is formal wear, okay? You're just incorporating your print into your everyday life. You know, it doesn't always have to be, I'm going to an African party, that's when you bring out your African outfits. No. Same, the same, the same shirt, okay? We can pair this with a pair of jeans and sneakers. How about that? How about that? The same shirt, we can pair it with a slip skirt. Tied at the waist, shirt a little bit of skin. How about that? And button it a little, how about that? It all depends on your style. How about that? And Finally, the final tip I'm going to share with you, I've got this, uh, like, maxi dress that's in, like, would you say this is tiger? Like a tiger print? Yeah? I'll show you a picture here of me wearing the dress on its own. This is like a tiger print. But let's say, you know, you're having a really nice summer day. Fine. Perfect to wear. But you want to dress it up a little bit. So what I did is I wore this dress and then wore a, a pleated dress. No. I wore this dress and then I wore on top of it a pleated skirt, as you can see in this picture. How about that? I don't know why I'm saying how about that, but like it's like guys, we do not have to have that suitcase that is always zipped up that's got our African print out. No, you guys, we can wear this pretty much every day. It's just the way, it's just a matter of finding, you know, a way of styling them so that they go with the flow, with our lives, with our style. You do not have to be invited to an African party to wear an African print. So this is my first video for this month of May. I've got three other videos that will be coming up and I'll be sharing some you know, fashion and styling tips based on African print, okay? And obviously I've already got a lineup on what I will be sharing this month. But if you've got something specific you want me to share in relation to African stuff, like in terms of style, particularly African print, let me know and I'll see if I can fit it in towards the end of the month, just maybe, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video whether you're an african print lover or you someone who's very interested you love the print but maybe you just never owned one you know you can get some ideas and inspiration from this when you're making your next african print style think about it okay how am i going to style it how am i going to incorporate it in my everyday styling and i think it's very good that when we get these outfits Whatever outfit you buy, you think about it, how you're going to make the most of it, how you're going to make get the most wear out of it. Because what's the point of, you know, 
wearing the African green today, but even though it's kind of like but we're in Japan ever. Because that that happens a lot. And I'm sure you, if you have an African green outfit, you agree that that's usually the norm. So I hope these videos are inspiration to you that you're wearing African green today and you can be proud of where you're from, even though the print did not originate from Africa and we can dress it shamelessly and stylishly okay i'll see you in my next video take care guys if you watch till the end don't forget to share with somebody who might find this video and if you don't subscribe yet please subscribe because obviously you watch till the end so what are you waiting for okay i'll see you in my next video